Hi, my dear jazz guitar enthusiasts around the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. The Thumb is a 12 bar blues by Wes Montgomery. Kevin Eubanks added two more sections to this blues and called it Blues for Wes. You can download the tabs from the link down below in the description box. Please also visit my lesson shop guitarversum.com for more lesson material like this one. And now, let's get started. We're in the key of G and the first part is 12 bars long. It's repeated twice actually. And this is the original The Thumb part by, uh, by Wes Montgomery, but I played more Kevin Eubanks style. He has more embellishments, okay? So um, we start here in the G minor to major pentatonic. This is a mix and a typical blues thing. We start on the B flat, that's the minor third, and hammer to the major third. Typical blues lick. And then the open D string, right? One. Then I repeat that, but I play that hammer fast. And the D string again. You start on an offbeat. Even if you play it alone on your own, you have to be aware that or your phrasing will suck. So one. Then repeat it. So it's being played twice. Now we have some chords thrown in. That's the upper part of a D7 sharp 9 chord. That would be 5, 4, 5, 6, but we just play 4, 5, 6. And then we go to the three notes of a G7 chord. Here would be the G, 3, 4, 3. So we have. Then we repeat that uh, motif again. The first part at least, okay? Now it goes differently. Fifth fret of the G string, then the fast hammer, the G on the D string, A and F. So, and then we go to C7. That's the fourth degree of that blues. Three, two, three. Play, continue playing on that C, E, G. That's an arpeggio actually. That's part of the mixolydian scale. And now you hit that A again and have this great embellishment. Two, three, two, hammer, pull. Uh, yeah, hammer, pull. And then going to the G on the fifth fret of the D string. This has to be done real quick. And then we have that E, G, and a slide into the B. Okay, because we're back on G. So that's the first part. Let me play through that at slow tempo. Three, four, one. interested in jazz blues, I have a jazz blues starter bag in my shop with five easy lessons that explain the concept of the jazz blues, the rhythm comping and improvisation. And you can download it from the link down below in the description box. I also pinned the first comment in the comment section. This really has a good value and so please check it out. Now we have a bunch of really beautiful uh, jazz chords. We go over from this to F7, F sharp 7, sharp 9 actually. So that's 9, here's the F sharp, 8, 9, 10. Then uh, the B minor 7 chord. That's a 2 to, for the E7, which would be the regular chord in, in a blues, in G. So that's 7, 7, 7, 7. And it leads us to that E7 altered chord. To be exact, E7, sharp 9, flat 13, or sharp 5. So that's, here's the E, si uh, seven, six, seven, eight, eight. Right, so what we have is, I play that twice, and then A minor, here's the two chord of the uh, two, five, one that is uh, about to come. That's five, 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 seven, A minor nine. Right, so here are the chords. 
now we have a little tricky line, okay? Where's octaves? Here, Kevin Eubanks doesn't play the octaves, I was, so here I went back to the original C and C, 3 of A and 5 of G, then the E, that's 2 of D and 5 of uh, B. Make sure that you mute the string in between, because we want only these two to sound. Then we go to the 5th and the 8th string, 8th uh, fret of the D and B string. Uh, so what we got is back to that 2nd and 5th fret. And now on the E string, 3, 6, 3 of the G and 6 of the E string, we climb up chromatically. We, I slide from 9 to 10 of the, I just, Here's my here's my trick. I just focus one of the strings. I do not focus both. The, I would get a synapse columns by doing that. So I focus either the lower of the two strings or the higher of the two strings. Okay, then back to 5 8 of D and G. 3 6, here we go. And and 4 7. And back to 5 8 5 8 of the D and G twice, or I think the original is only once. Okay, so here is that octave phrase, okay? Okay, again. And now we have the turnaround going down chromatically. B flat 13, here would be the B flat, okay? You gotta memorize these roots, otherwise you cannot move them on the fretboard if you don't know where your root is. So six, seven, eight, then A thirteen. That's uh, for the A minor chord, and A flat thirteen. That's a tritone substitute for that D seven, the five chord. Okay, so until the G. I forgot the G. Three, four, five. Okay. You can do those little scratches in between. By, by uh, muting the strings, you mute the strings by touching them and don't pressing them. Okay, here is that second uh, phrase at slow tempo. One, two. Now you repeat the whole A section, but the end does not include the G chord anymore. So you go down B flat, A flat, uh, A, A flat, and you stop here, and then you continue with the next phrase. 